hello guys uh, welcome back in this video we will explore the outer glow layer style in photoshop so layer style can be accessed from the layers panel here you can just select uh, your desired layer and then go to the effects and then choose your uh, layer style so i'm going to pick outer glow and then we have uh, this glow here it looks like uh, uh, the physical sign boards what you see those sign boards will have uh, text uh, which are, which is like made with any material and there is some LED put behind it so that you get that lighting on the wall so you are getting that uh, sort of effect here and uh, we have a few options let me just click this button reset to default which makes all the settings to the basic so the first thing first is your blending mode so you have normal uh, screen all that uh, stuff going on so screen generally adds luminance to the colors what you have picked so uh, you can pick screen otherwise you can try exploring different other blending modes you have opacity you can uh, increase the opacity of the slider okay and then you can make it look more opaque then we have the noise which you can increase so I'm going to scale this you should be able to see the noise here okay and uh, I'm going to reduce the noise here I would uh, before exploring the color we have uh, spread and the size so I'm going to uh, play with the spread you could see that's making it more hard okay it, it's making uh, sharp like a stroke and then size increases the range uh, from the outline of the content of the layers okay so you can explore uh, the interpolation as well okay so that looks good and then we have uh, precise that also changes the uh, interpolation drastically so from 1 to 0 it's linearly going up now when I'm increasing it's like I'm uh, working out with the tangency of it so it's like uh, up to certain level it is 1 and then it's falling off to 0 uh, so when I take precise it's doing the same thing okay it's ch affecting the interpolation there um, so I need to uh, put softer here to get a decent glow there and uh, we have uh, the contours and uh, I would explore the contours once we start playing with uh, these two things here uh, one is the color so you can select uh, the color swatch and you can pick your prefer preferred color there okay so that's color for you then we have the gradient where you can choose uh, different types of gradients where you could able to see starting it's white and then gradually it's turning to pink because of this one however you can generally pick uh, your preferred uh, colors okay um, so I'm just selecting um, a light blue to a purple color and it's giving that and uh, the blending mode normal will give you the original color screen will generally give the luminance to it so you can just explore that and then you have um, uh, on the top we have the opacity you can also play with the opacity to get that nice fall off there and change in color as well uh, you have uh, the noisy textures you can choose uh, the noisy texture just click randomize and then you get different types of uh, noises which is uh, giving me that ribs around okay it, it looks like a neon signage okay uh, they're they're really looking nice and then uh, let me just uh, keep a simple gradient here and then uh, here we'll explore the contours so when I click this drop down you have linear uh, this is what I'm talking 
linear fall off and then uh, you have uh, this one just like uh, there is a change in the interpolation the, the mid range is going up so it will be bright for some time and then immediately falls off okay you see that effect white is there up to long time and then suddenly there is a change okay then you have uh, this one uh, there is a cut immediately and then again a sharp uh, so it's it's uh, quite visible but it again you need to relate yourself with that and then you'll uh, better understand what's going on there uh, you can just uh, ta try uh, color harmonies and then you could see uh, the interpolations okay uh, you, you can control the, those interpolations here okay you can just select the points and uh, modify them uh, you can see that effect going on uh, linear is the default one let me try two gradients and then again uh, check the gradiency I should be able to see uh, the yellow is uh, coming long way and then you see this color there So there is purple and yellow. There is a sharp cut here. You can give a gradiency. Okay. So you can try different things like cone, cone inverted, cone deep. So all that what you have seen there uh, can be controlled by a modification of this graph. Okay. Uh, you have to. Okay. I'll just reset it. And then we have the range again this affects the interpolation of uh, the curve gets modified and then you have jitter which brings up the noise you can switch on anti alize to avoid the anti aliasing effect on your uh, final result so it gave it makes it softer okay so these are all the settings what we have you can just click uh, make to default sorry sorry reset it's gone uh, I click this button which has actually made this settings as default settings so when I'm hitting reset this became the default setting my bad okay I just select that white color and then reduce the jitter and uh, you should able to see this uh, you can use a combination of um, other uh, gradients to make it look more interesting like I am going to take this one to red okay and then I will uh, go to the bevel emboss okay and then I'm not using the uh, opacity of the shadow on this let me go to the color overlay and then choose normal blending mode then choose a red color and uh, in the bevel emboss we will choose the smooth one and then reduce this opacity slightly let me put it to normal uh, the bevel types also generally affect so I'm just cho choosing uh, emboss you have uh, different type of embosses so I'm exploring that and contours are affected let me choose it to linear that's the whole problem inner bevel okay that that adds up that nice gel now I'll go to the inner glow and then take a dark red and keep a slight opacity okay and then I would also add uh, satin 
then choose a uh, linear and then choose that color that adds some variation to the text on the whole and lastly I'll just uh, switch on the drop shadow and then spread it that gives that depth so finally you get this uh, effect with that glow it, it, it looks more three dimensional um, it's not looking flat that's the beauty of this uh, layer styles so outer glow is generally uh, used to lit something behind it you could see ambient lighting effects these days in um, interiors so you get that kind of effect here